Happy Thursday everyone, happy Thursday. Today we're going to look at part number 6, or I should say episode number 6, which is of course from the Why Young Adult or Living Church, which is a message for parents. And this topic is going to be on, or I should say the reason, which is number 6, is Parents not involving the kids at church. Or, I could say, not being involved in church activities. Um, so, ooh, um, the best way for a child to learn in anything is practice, right? We know if he wants to be good at playing soccer, then... He, has, he or she has to practice soccer. Same for basketball, same for tennis. But guess what? Parents, it's the same for their spiritual life. They have to practice it. Which means, when you teach them at, uh, when you teach them at home, or at church, which is your first home, then when you go to church with other fellow believers, you need your child to practice what they have done during the week. You see, most of the time, people who practice at church is about playing the piano, playing the guitar, playing the violin, or singing. How about having your child, or I should say in the church, if they ask you for your child to do, let's say, the welcome, or to do a section of the Sabbath school lesson for the week. Don't say, no, uh, my child is too young. No, 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 no. If they ask a child to go on the pulpit to read the Bible verse, they like, ah, he's too young. Don't do that. Because your child will be very eager to do that, and then you discourage that child. I had to practice when I was actually at a church. I'm not going to mention where. Well. Whenever I'm, I'm going to preach, I only have myself, the first elder, and I have children. So I have the children to do the welcome, read the scripture reading, um, do the singing, except for the prayer, the uh, prayer of consecration that I left for the first elder. But anything else, I'm like, I want to see the kids do things. And when I, when I asked them, they were so happy, eager to do it. And sometimes it's the parents who are holding them back. So when you do that, parent, when they get older, don't think they're going to be interested in going to church. Personal thing, I, 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 I wanted to go into the things called Pathfinder, I think they call it Boy Scout, whatever, in a secular world um, term. But when it comes to church, we had adventurers, pathfinders, and things like that. But my parents never allowed me to do those things. Well, I got older, and they wanted me to do it. I'm like, no, I'm not doing those things anymore. When I wanted to do them, I, I wasn't allowed. Now I'm like, I'm not doing that. But do I do everything else at church? Sure. Except for that part. So, whatever I grew up with at church is what I still do today. Where my, where, where my strength is, I do. I try to do better at it. I don't force myself to do something I'm not good at. So, parents, do your best to always let your kids be involved in church. Because in the end, the reason why some of them will stay is because they have something to do. They know the importance of what they are doing and how it impacts other people. Don't forget that. Food for thought.